गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे उल डू अबाउट द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ इक्विलिब्रियम कॉन्स्टेंट आई मीन वे द इक्विलिब्रियम कॉन्स्टेंट यू कैन एप्लाई इक्विलिब्रियम कॉन्स्टेंट इक्विलिब्रियम कॉन्स्टेंट कैन बी यूज कैन बी यूज फॉर प्रेडिक्टिंग for predicting the direction of the reaction direction of the reaction i mean whether the reaction will follow forward direction or it will follow backward direction you can find out this from the equilibrium constant casing now consider a reaction consider a reaction a of a plus b of b it gives x of x plus y of y suppose this is your reaction and the reaction is reversible here capital a b are the reactant capital x y are the product small a small b coefficient of reactant small x small y coefficient of product now if the reaction is at equilibrium then you can write the equilibrium constant for this reaction but if the reaction do not gain the equilibrium state i mean at any stage other than equilibrium then you can express the equilibrium constant instead of equilibrium constant you can express it by reaction quotient which is called qc i mean at any stage at any stage other than equilibrium at any stage other than equilibrium the concentration ratio the concentration ratio concentration ratio means multiplication of the concentration of product divided by multiplication of the concentration of reactant that is called concentration ratio is called reaction quotient reaction quotient or it is also called concentration quotient and it is represented is represented by the symbol it is represented by the symbol qc i mean if the reaction is at equilibrium you can apply kc which is called equilibrium constant and <coughs> if the reaction is not at equilibrium because to gain the equilibrium the reaction needs some amount of time so at any stage other than equilibrium the concentration ratio i mean multiplication of the concentration of product and uh, divided by multiplication of the concentration of reactant you can express it by applying reaction quotient which is represented by qc that means you can write qc is equal multiplication of the concentration of product i mean concentration of x into concentration of y here coefficient is x and y that's why they should be power divided by multiplication of the concentration of reactant a and b their coefficient small a and small b this should be power so if the reaction is at equilibrium you can express the concentration ratio by applying kc and if the reaction is not at equilibrium at any stage other than equilibrium you can express the uh, concentration ratio by applying reaction quotient which is called qc now if qc is equal to kc if the value of qc become equal to the value of kc then the reaction is at equilibrium so when the value of qc is equal to kc then you can understand that the reaction will be at equilibrium now if qc is greater than kc suppose qc value is greater than kc c when qc value will be more qc value will be more when concentration of x and y will be more 
concentration of x and y will be more means more forward direction reaction will take place so if more forward reaction takes place more x and y will form and then more amount of x and y you will get ultimately the value of qc will be more then the reaction have a tendency to go the backward direction to get the equilibrium state i mean if qc is greater than kc uh, the reaction the reaction will proceed in backward direction in backward direction because qc value will be more when concentration of x and y will be more and when concentration of x and y will be more when more forward reaction takes place and when concentration of x and y will be more then the reaction have the tendency to do the backward direction that is why when you get the value of qc greater than kc that means the reaction is proceeding backward direction like this way you can find out the direction of the reaction in which direction the reaction is proceed similarly if qc is less than kc suppose qc value is less when qc value will be less when x and y will be less and when x and y will be less when the backward reaction will take place then the reaction will have the tendency to go the forward direction to gain the equilibrium state that is why if the qc value is less than the equilibrium constant kc value you will get the idea that the reaction the reaction will proceed will proceed in forward direction so by applying this equilibrium constant and this reaction quotient you can find out the direction of the reaction whether the reaction will follow in forward direction or in backward direction now this is one question in a reaction between hydrogen and iodine at a certain temperature the amount of hydrogen iodine and hsi at equilibrium are found to be 0.5 mole 0.45 mole 0.39 mole and 3.0 mole respectively calculate the equilibrium constant for the reaction at the given temperature so first time to find out the value of equilibrium constant you, you have to write the balanced chemical equation here the reaction is when hydrogen reacts with iodine it gives hydrogen iodide each side the reaction is not balanced you have to put two here then the reaction will be balanced now if the reaction is at equilibrium then you can write the kc like this concentration of h psi whole square divided by concentration of h2 into concentration of i2 so this is the equilibrium constant now you have to put the value of concentration of h psi concentration of hydrogen concentration of i2 since here number of moles are given concentration is not given only moles are given so that is why you know to find out the concentration number of moles by volume gives the concentration so here volume is not given so you have to consider the volume as v let the reaction let the reaction is carried out is carried out in a container in a container of volume of volume v liter of volume v then kc you can put the value what will be the concentration of h psi the h psi mole is given 3.0 i mean 3.0 divided by v volume number of moles by volume gives the concentration here one power is given square so you put the square as power then hydrogen number of mole is given 0.45 so it will be 0.45 divided by v into iodine mole given 0.39 0.39 divided by v and these are the concentration so if number of moles are given then just to divide by volume you will get the concentration value so here you will get v square here also you will get v square ultimately v square v square will be cancelled then you will get v square means 9 divided by 0.45 into 0.39 when you calculate it then you will get the value 51.28 and here 
number of moles of product is 2, number of moles of reactants are 2, so 2 minus 2 is 0, ultimately there will be no unit of Kc, because, uh, in last class I have given the unit of Kc, how to find out the unit of Kc, if the number of moles of product and number of moles of reactants are same, then there will be no unit of Kc. So this is the process how to find out the equilibrium constant for a reaction.